what is the probability that when three dice are rolled, the product of what appears on the top will be a multiple of two or three? Now, this is a very interesting question posted by Vidya on probability. So what happens here? We have got three dice. You know that dice is a six-faced cube, which has got numbers one, two, three, four, five, six uh, marked on it, right? On one on each of these faces. So it's a it's a game of three dice. You roll all three of them together. What is the probability that the product of what appears in the top will be a multiple of two or three? What appears in the top should be a multiple of two or three. So basically, if you see, right, we've got three dice. Let's say d1, d2, and d3. Now, what shows on top? Like for example, let's say all three of them show one, one, and one. What will be the product? One into one into one is equal to one. Is this the right case or wrong case? Wrong case. This cannot be considered because we want the product to be a multiple of two or three. Right? I'm just taking a few examples to explain you what happens. For for example, let's say if we, uh, if the numbers are uh, you know uh, two, three, and four. What is the product? Two into three into four. Right? So two into three. Uh, 6, 6 into 4, 24. Is this right or wrong? It is right. Because it has to be a multiple of 2 or 3. 24 is a multiple of 2 as well as 3. Right? So 24 can be considered. Let's say if you get uh, uh, 2, 2 and 2. What happens? The product of 2, 2 and 2 is 8. 2 into 2, 4 into 2, 8. Is this a multiple of 2 or 3? Yes, it's a multiple of 2. It need not be a multiple of both 2 and 3. Either 2 or 3. Or both. Doesn't matter. But it's not a rule that it should both 2 and 3. So we have got multiple of 2 here. There's a multiple of 2 and 3, multiple of 2. Likewise, let's say if we get uh, uh, 3, 5 and 1. First dice shows 3, second one shows 5, the third one shows 1. So 3 into 5 into 1. Right? 3 into 5, 15 into 1, 15. There's a multiple of 3. Okay. Right? Uh, suppose we get... Uh, 5, 5, 5, for example. 5, 5 and 5. What happens? 5 into 5 into 5. Right? 5 into 5 into 5. 25 into 5, 125. 125 is neither a multiple of 2 nor a multiple of 3. So this also is ruled out. So we have to find out all such cases. All such cases where the product is either a multiple of 2 or a multiple of 3. Like 24, 8, 15 and so on. 1, 25 and all these things can be, has to be avoided. So what is the probability is the question. Now, if you try to observe what are the total number of outputs that we'll get, total number of outputs, the first die can give us 6 outputs. The second one can give us 6. The third one can also give us 6. So total number of outputs are going to be 6 into 6 into 6. 6 cube. Total number of outputs. You know what is probability, right? Probability is number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. Number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. Let's, let's call it outcome. Right? Okay. Total outputs or outcome doesn't matter. Right? So probability is total number of you, you understand. Let me just... Mm. Okay, I'll have to... Just a second. You have understood the point, right? The total number of outcomes are going to be 6 into 6 into 6. Let me clear this and explain you how to get the desired outcomes. Okay. Just a second. Alright, so we have understood that the total uh, number of outcomes will be 6 into 6 into 6 because there are uh, 3 dice, each dice can give you 6 different figures, so total will be 6 cube. Now, what is the number of favorable outcomes, right? So basically, how do we get a product which is multiple of 2 and how do we get a product which is a multiple of 3. How do we do that? See, understand we have got three faces, I mean three numbers that will show up. Right? Now, the product is going to be a multiple of 2. Multiple of 2. The product is going to be multiple of 2. The moment the moment one of the numbers is even. You're getting it? What are multiples of 2? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on. Right? This is dice 1, dice 2, and dice 3. Three times, right? So even if one of them is an 
even if one of them is giving an even output, even number, an even number multiplied by anything is an even number. So you have to use that even odd idea, right? If let's say dice one is even, if the first one gives you an even output, now whatever be the other two, doesn't matter because even into even is even, even into odd is also even. Now this is for two numbers, even for three numbers, what happens? Even into, what can be the other two numbers? Let's say both are even, even into even into even will give you an even output. Similarly, even into odd into odd. See, the point is whether the other two gives you an even number or odd number, eventually they are going to get multiplied by even only. So it's going to result in an even number. Similarly, even into even into odd will give an even number. Are you able to follow? This is for two dice. Even if we take three numbers, if one of the numbers is even, whatever with the other two numbers, both even, both odd, one even, one odd, eventually the product is going to be an even number, which is nothing but a multiple of two. Right? So the only thing that I will work on is that one dice should give me an even number. The other can give me even or odd. Even or odd. Right? This is for multiple of two. For multiple of two. Right? If one of the dice is even, any one, doesn't matter. First one or second one, third one, doesn't matter. But if one dice give me any one output and the other two gives me anything, I am going to get a multiple of two. Now, what are the even numbers that we have? See, the outcomes can be one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, uh, for me to get an even multiple, I should have either two or four or six. So it can be filled in three ways. It can be filled in three ways. Right? The first one can be filled in three ways. The second one can take any of the six outcomes. The third one can also take any of the six outcomes. Yes or no? So this is the number of ways in which I get multiples of two. Three into six into six. Three into six square. Are you able to follow? The number of ways in which we get a multiple of two. The number of ways in which we get a multiple of two is three into six square. What are those three? It can be two or four or six. These can be any of the numbers. Any of the six numbers can be taken up. Right now, actually, if you try to now observe the product is going to be a multiple of two, the product is going to be a multiple of two if one of the numbers is a multiple of two. Right, whatever be the remaining numbers doesn't matter. Understanding multiplication, even if there are 100 numbers that we are multiplying after this, or you know, let's say 120 numbers are getting multiplied after the first number, 120 numbers are getting multiplied, it doesn't matter what the other 120 numbers are, as long as the other numbers are all integers. If the first number is a multiple of two, see two, four, six, while we have taken even odd uh, analogy to understand this, the idea is this. If the first number is a multiple of two, which is two or four or six, the product is going to be a multiple of two. Are you able to follow? So likewise, if I want multiples of three, multiples of three, what happens? The first number has to be multiple of three. It should be three or six. First number is any one of the numbers. Whatever be the other numbers doesn't matter. Whatever the other two numbers doesn't matter. They can take any of the six outcomes. This also can take any of the six outcomes. But the first number or one number has to be a multiple of three. So this can be done only in two ways. So two into six squared. Are you able to follow? You can take anything. Like for example, three, three, for example, for multiples of three, three multiplied by whatever be the 10 other numbers. Doesn't matter. It is going to be whatever be the product of this. This product is getting multiplied by three, right? So you'll get a multiple of three. Similarly, 6, when you multiply by anything that you want, anything that you want is going to give you a multiple of six, uh, 3 only. Multiple of 3 or it can be taken as a multiple of 6 also. Are you able to follow? So for the product to be a multiple of 2, one number has to be, any one of the numbers has to be a multiple of 2. For the product to be a multiple of 3, any one of the numbers has to be a multiple of 3. So there are only 3 multiples of 2. So it can be filled in 3 ways. The other 2 can take any of the 6 outcomes. Likewise, there are only 2 multiples of Three. So the first one can be filled in two ways, the other two can be, uh, you know, any multiples of three. A a any numbers can be coming in the other two. Right? Now there is a problem. The problem is there can be common multiples of two and three. Like, for example, uh, when we were checking some of the examples, right? For example, let's say if the product comes out to be 12, 12 is a multiple of two, it is also a multiple of three. Six. 6 is a multiple of 2, 6 is a multiple of 3. 18, suppose 18 comes up. 18 is a multiple of 2, 18 is a multiple of 3. 24 is a multiple of 2 and multiple of 3. Meaning, all these have been counted twice. If you see, 6 has been counted here in multiples of 2, 6 has been counted in multiples of 3 as well. 
likewise 12 18 24 30 36 all these common multiples of 2 and 3 all these common multiples of 2 and 3 have been counted in both uh, 2 as well as 3 those have to be subtracted they have been counted twice so you have to subtract all those ones now what are those common multiple of common multiples of 2 and 3 which is nothing but multiples of 6 you understand all this if you see 6 12 18 and then 24 30 36 42 60 72 all these are common multiples of 2 and 3 because these are multiples of 6 so how many will be multiples of 6 same thing again we have got three dice we want to find out how many times will we get the product as multiples of 6 for that one number has to be a multiple of 6 and the only multiple of 6 that we have here is 6 1 2 3 4 5 are not multiples of 6 6 is the only multiple of six. this is 6 it can be filled in one way 6 can come here the other two can take anything that they want it doesn't matter so this is 1 into 6 Go ahead. now to solve this question this question is on probability remember what is the probability that when 3 dies over the product is a multiple of 2 or 3 to solve this what do you have to do you have to take multiples of 2 plus multiples of 3 minus multiples of 6 right so probability final answer is here probability that the product is a multiple of 2 or 3 is equal to what let me get some space here product is a multiple of 2 or 3 how do we get that simple or it says right or means what plus remember all rule or rule of permutations and combinations and probability right plus so in how many ways do we get multiples of 2 3 into 6 squared ways in how many ways do we get multiples of 3 2 into 6 squared ways in how many ways do we get common multiples of 2 and 3 1 into 6 squared ways which have to be subtracted divided by total number of outcomes 6 q probability is what probability is number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes so these are favorable outcomes 3 into 6 square plus 2 into 6 square minus 1 into 6 square is the number of favorable outcomes denominator 6 cube is the total number of outcomes right suppose this is in how many ways can we get product as multiples of 2 and 3 then only numerator is enough then only numerator is enough but here it should be here it should be uh, you know since it is probability you have to take 3 into 6 square plus 2 into 6 square minus 1 into 6 square divided by 6, 6 cube right uh, now is there anything else required to be done like for example remember the the one thing that we are missing here is we have assumed that the first uh, dice itself will have a multiple of 2 or a multiple of 3 or a multiple of 6 but that's not the case any dice can be a multiple of 2 or uh, uh, 2 or 3 or 6 here, right? Should that be considered or not considered? Yeah, but since it is multiple uh, yeah i think it's not it should not be considered because like for example let's say if this dice has got four as output four into six possible ways into six possible ways but yeah since a into b into c same as b into a into c same as c into a into b i think we should not consider that it's not required so directly you can simplify this to get the answer yes or no the order doesn't matter whether the first dice give you uh, multiple of two or second one gives you multiple of two or the third one gives you multiple of two doesn't matter you just have to uh, you know multiplication you know right a into b same as b into a so don't uh, use that uh, part here now simplify what happens 6 square gets cancelled it's common everywhere what are we left with 3 plus 2 5 5 minus 1 4 4 upon 6 4 upon 6 is 2 by 3 so your answer to this question should be 2 by 3